So today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes trip through our largest and busiest hospital um, here in Victoria. We've had a, a hospital here since 1906 and the current hospital uh, it was re rebuilt in 2001. So follow me. When you first arrive at Victoria you'll come through these big blue doors and then you'll check in at the reception desk. They, then they'd ask you to take a seat here until the vet calls you. Make sure you know which clinic you go to. You'll then go along this corridor here and go into one of these clinics. We've got six clinics here um, on the left-hand side. Yeah. So we've just got a vet consult in here. So once um, the vet's checked over your animal, if the pet is sick um, and needs to be admitted to the hospital, or if they're coming in for an operation, they'll all come through this way this is where all animals will be stabilised if they need any blood samples, need to be put on a drip, or even if they need to have oxygen, that can all be done here. The nurses will be around to do that. If and once they're stable, then they'll go upstairs to kennels. We have separate dog and cat kennels. I'm going to take you into cat kennels now. This is our cat kennels area. Uh, we pride ourselves on a high standard of care. We have nurses here to give treatment or monitor the patients 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. We also have a vet in the building seven days a week as well. If the animal then needs an operation, we'll take you upstairs to the operation area. This is our minor operations area. So Jill is just about to do a dental on little Shih Tzu here called Fiona. The larger sterile procedures happen in theatre, so if you follow me. So this is our, our main theatre area. In this room here, uh, we prep all the animals for surgery. They then get taken into one of our two theatres. If you just look through to the left-hand side, this is our largest theatre. We have a nurse that monitors the anaesthetic um, all through the procedure. Um, we have also monitoring equipment as well to just check all their vitals uh, while they're asleep. We keep them warm with these bear huggers because um, that's one of the, the risks during surgery. Um, and these are our pipe gases. Next I'm going to take you up to our final kennels area which is isolation. This is for animals that have got infectious diseases and they cannot mix with other animals. So just follow me. So we're now on the fourth floor. Uh, this is our isolation kennels. Before I can enter there, I need to change my, my scrubs um, because the animals, in, the pets in here, are at risk of transferring their infectious diseases. So we always keep our clothes separate. So I'm just going to change just now. So now I'm changing to my scrubs. Let's go into the isolation area. When we have patients in here, we have a nurse here, again, 24 hours a day to give in treatment. We have a separate area for dogs and a separate area for cats. Luckily, this area is not normally too busy.